Okay, so let's talk about the enhanced check to bill pay workflow. So the way this works is, and you would have to kind of like try to remember, before 2019, so in 2018, this screen, the buttons were flipped. The, the blue highlighted was write your check, and the part that wasn't highlighted was to go to pay bills. And this happens whenever we have an outstanding bill and we attempt to write a check for it. So let me show you uh, what that means. So let me go and I'm going to go ahead and close out of the invoice. I'm going to go ahead and create a quick bill here. So I'll create a bill for, uh, let, me, let, me, let me do a new vendor, make it easier. Let's do uh, Comcast. So we'll create a new vendor, Comcast, and we'll make this, let's say, $500. And I'm going to go ahead and click uh, save and close. So I created a bill for a vendor and I want to save and close. If I try to create a check, and this is a common error that sort of like the, the mortal QuickBooks users commit, not, not the accountants, not the power users, is try to uh, write a check to, to pay a bill instead of going to the pay bill window. So if I actually put uh, the vendor's name, you get this warning message that says, hey, you know, are you sure this is a good idea that you want to write a check? You should really use the bill pay feature because there's, there's an open bill. The, the changes this year is that the part that's highlighted is go to pay bills. And before, uh, continue to write your check was what was highlighted. So they, they kind of changed the script and they're pushing the user to pay the bills uh, instead of writing the check. Now, the other kind of thing that they added to the workflow here is when you click on go to pay bills, the one thing that it does uh, proactively is add the filter to the vendor here, right? So it makes it makes it just much easier for you to deal with bills because before 2019, without that filter, you would go into this this screen. It would have a whole bunch of bills, and most users get intimidated by it and say, "No, no, screw it. Let me get out of this. Let me just write the check as I was planning to because I don't understand what's going on." But re remember, if you're actually if you're if you're a uh, non-accountant, not power user, and, um, and and you come in here and you pick the vendor's name and it tells you, hey, there's an outstanding bill and it's showing you the outstanding bill. And you're like, okay, that makes total sense. That's what I want to pay. And you go to pay bills and it filters it down to the vendor level. You have a much higher propensity to follow through, select the bill and use the, the, the pay bills feature instead of the write check feature. So I really like, um, I really like it. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, at first I thought it was like a big nothing, but now I'm, I'm thinking kind of like not from a power user perspective, from a standard end user, I think the workflow, it, it's a lot better. So I think it's definitely um, an improvement.